the hippie Billy Boy. Well, it's hard to say what it was that started him down the long, piney trail to Freakhood. Maybe it was when his cousin Kathleen got run over by a bulldozer. Or maybe it was the six o'clock news, I don't know. But all of a sudden he let his hair grow long, long, Lord, long. And he wore love beads around his neck and he started making weird things down in shop class. Lord, 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 Jimmy Joe, the hippie Billy boy. His teachers didn't mind so much the love beads or when he wore body paint to the prom. But buddy, when he came to the county track meet and wore nothing but a purple petrified taper snout for an athletic supporter, boy, he got snuffed out of school. He didn't mind. Most of the time, he stayed out in the woods and wrote poetry. Last summer, he harvested 17 bales of hemp alongside the railroad tracks, and he stopped going to Christian Youth Fellowship. And he even tried to get my daughter, Carol Ann, to go out in the woods to meditate with him. <laughs> Lord, 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 Jimmy Joe, the hippie Billy Boy. Well, he saw something he called a vision of the grail on a muskrat run near his home here in Kabul. And believe in magic, there's a joke all over town about how they ought to put up a chain link fence around the graveyard. Folks didn't know what they were saying. He wore an Osage Indian headband, and he wouldn't go out for football, even though he'd been a star left halfback in the Tri-State Junior High School Midget Football League. People would say, Jimmy Joe, why don't you just go on off to San Francisco? And Jimmy'd smile, and he'd say, well, I love the Ozarks, and I love the limestone caves, and the ridges, and the purple mists, and I love the veils and veils of fennel. Lord, 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 Jimmy Joe, the hippie Billy Boy. Well, he was out by the Big Blue River on Saturday night late, meditating and writing poetry. And he saw far below a pair of car lights on the highway. Then they went wobbly, and he heard a crash, and he saw the car go over the side of the Big Blue River. And Jimmy ran down to the riverbank, but all he could see was girdles and bubbles rising where the car had gone under the water. So he ripped off his clothes, and he stood there naked in the moonlight with his Osage headband glistening. And he did a forward one and a half somersault with a half twist and went down into the cold, murky murk of the Big Blue River. And he had to go real deep, but somehow he found the car and he got the car door open. And he pulled out the people inside, old Nadine Hefner and Danny Whistler. And he got them up on the river bank, and then, then he began to worry that maybe there was somebody else down in the car trapped. So he went back down into the abysmal, dismal depths of the Big Blue River. And he never came up. Fifteen minutes later, the state police went down to get him, and... They found Jimmy Joe with his long brown hair wrapped around the rear view mirror. Oh, the whole town came out to Jimmy's funeral. And Reverend Allen read some of Jimmy's poetry. And Lord, 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 they weep just as loud for a hippie billy boy as they weep for anybody else. And as they carried the plain brown bronze casket from the graveyard. The country choir sang the lordly hymn. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a friend we have in Jesus, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus, everything to God in prayer. 
Lord, 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 Jimmy Joe Ho, the hippie billy boy.